Sandhurst Military Academy has chosen its best officer cadet of the year and for only the fourth time it's a woman. Senior under officer Sarah Hunter Choate has received the academy's highest accolade, the Sword of Honour. Victoria Smith was watching. Shoulder. It's a hotly contested um. award for which 200 officer cadets were considered, but the Sword of Honour went to 25-year-old senior under officer Sarah Hunter Choate. Given by Defence Secretary Philip Hammond, who represented the Queen today, it topped a list of 27 awards handed out. And its recipient was delighted. I don't think it's sunk in at all. Um, I learned about it just over a week ago now and it just hasn't sunk in. It's absolutely amazing. I think the best feeling was marching up the steps at the end, watching the whole of my intake you know, march up those steps in front of me. And it's spread across your academic performance, um, your physical performance over the year and your performance you know, on the more military things in the field. So um, I did well academically. I represented the, the academy in quite a lot of sports and um, apparently I'm quite good in the field, so. It's a historic day for Sandhurst, just the fourth time a woman's been presented with the Sword of Honour. Now today's Sovereign's Parade was nearly cancelled because of the appalling weather, but it's gone ahead in all its pomp and glory to make it a memorable day for everyone here. By the centre, quick. The parade was the culmination of 44 weeks of tough training for these 200 officer cadets who've now been commissioned into the British Army and the armies of 13 overseas countries. The Defence Secretary had the job of inspecting the parade in the pouring rain before making a speech welcoming them to what he described as a smaller and more flexible army. He promised he'd do everything he could to support the young officers and their families and to strengthen the terms of the military covenant. Despite the conditions, drills and skills were performed to perfection in front of a proud, if sodden, audience. The parade ground eventually transformed itself into a sea of umbrellas as the newly commissioned officers greeted family and friends before heading off to begin their new lives. Victoria Smith, Forces News, Sandhurst.